Now we're ready to start learning how to control the simulated robot. In our first example, we're going to control the robot using the keyboard. The first thing we'll do is create the robot itself. We'll locate it 200 across and 150 down. We know if we run this program, it'll create the robot there on the screen. Next, we're going to need a loop. We'll use a while loop. Usually, it's while some condition is true. But in this case, we want it forever. So we'll just say while true. The end of a while loop is the while end statement, or WN. Inside this loop, the first thing we want to do is to pick up any keys that are pressed by the user. We use the get key command. And whatever key comes in, the code for that key will be stored in the variable k. We need to convert k into a character. We can use the character command and tell it to convert k from its keyboard code to a character. Now, since we don't know whether the user is going to press uppercase or lowercase keys, we're going to press it convert this key always to an uppercase. So I'll simply say upper character K and that'll take the code, turn it into a character, and then make sure it's an uppercase character. Now we're going to use four characters. We're going to press F when we want the robot to use forward, move forward, B for backward, R for right, and L for left. Let's store this new converted character back into K. We could have put it into any variable, but there's no reason we've already got K. Let's just stick it there. Now we're going to simply ask if K is equal to an F, for example. And since we're looking for a character F, we have to put it in quotes. In this case, we're going to say, if that's true, then, and in this form of the robot basic if statement, robot basic has many forms of the if, but in this form, if k is equal to f, then it does whatever we have written right here. In this case, we want the robot to move forward. So we'll simply say our forward one. Now, if k happens to be equal to an L, then we'll make it turn left, which is our turn minus one. If K is equal to R, then we'll have it our turn one, turning to the right. If K is equal to B, then we'll R forward minus one to go backwards. If we run this program now, pressing a key, for instance, the right key, will make the robot turn to the right. The left key makes the robot turn to the left. The F key makes it move forward, and the B key makes it move backward. Type in this program, pause the screen if you need to make sure you get it all, but type in this program, make sure it all works, and then make sure you do save this program using the file menu, because we are going to use this program a little later and control a real robot with it.